Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So 2022 is almost coming to a close. So in today's video, we will be flipping through my 2022 bullet journals. So for this year, I used two notebooks which are from Notebook Therapy. The pink one over here is from January to June. And the white one over here with the butterfly is from July to December. So these two notebooks have served me really really well this year. Um, although they have like scratches here and there and it's kind of dirty as well but still they have been really good to me. So now without further ado, let's start flipping through the first notebook of 2022. So over here, these are just the beginning pages of the first notebook so as you can see here i did the pink butterfly theme so that it matches the cover uh, which is also pink and then as for the butterfly idea it's because um i want to be able to like transform and become a better version of myself like a butterfly that undergoes metamorphosis so uh, i guess that was what i strive for for the year 2022 so I really enjoy the setup and a lot of you guys um, also enjoy the setup as well and it feels really nice to see like all different people from different countries just genuinely enjoying my bullet journal setup it makes me really happy to see people enjoying my work and I'm very grateful for that so thank you guys so much for showing so much love and support um, throughout my bullet journal setups. Oh, so now here is one of my favorite beginning pages um, for this notebook, which is the 2022 highlights page. So this is a page where I print out Polaroid pictures with my Insight Mini link. and. So there's six pictures over here, which means it's January until June. And I just really like how I can look back at this spread, um, this highlights page, and just feel really happy that I have so many beautiful memories um, each and every month. And here is like a reflection page and also what to look forward to 2022. Uh, and here's my vision board where I play around with the scrapbooking uh, papers and also washi tapes. Um, these are the butterfly washi tapes from the book therapy. And yeah, here's the word, uh, I mean word of the year for 2022, which is transform, I uh, mean transform, change and growth. And now we're on to the first bullet journal setup for 2022 which is the January one. I did a paper crane theme which was inspired by Sadako and the thousand paper cranes. I was really inspired by the story so I decided to recreate this um, as one of my themes for this year. Oh I really like this mood tracker. All the paper cranes just look so neat in my opinion and then here's my budget tracker, playlist, a brain dump page. So overall I just really enjoy this month's theme because the color palette is very pastel-y which I really like and also the paper crane doodles are also very easy to draw. So I guess that's all for January and here's February. So February is Chinese New Year so as a Malaysian Chinese, I celebrate Chinese New Year's. So yeah, for February, I did like a tiger because this year is the year of the tiger uh, with like Chinese traditional clothing and like this red packet and like gold ingot and like lanterns. And it was just really fun, especially this habit tracker. I really like this a lot and then there's this scroll thingy that I also really like. So it's a bit bold for me to use like bright red and yellow colors for my setup because I don't really like bright colors that much. So yeah, I'm just really glad that I went for 
self-esteem and was able to try something new. So now here's March, which is the very delicious looking Japanese dessert steam. I really enjoy this one as well. Um, it definitely made me um, kind of hungry every time I open up my bullet journal during the month of March. But yeah, my favorite would be the dango and also the strawberry sando. And I really wish to try one of these um, Japanese desserts in Japan one day. And now moving on to the next setup is April. So April is the season of spring and also like cherry blossoms. So this setup was inspired by Notebook Therapy's um, cherry blossom collection. And I had a lot of fun playing around with the yeah, sticker collections over here. And overall, I just really enjoy this theme a lot, especially this mood tracker. I really like the cherry blossoms like falling off the branch and also um, I did try out something new this month which is using an exacto knife to cut out the edges of the washi tapes and I made like this little polaroid um, frames for my happy tracker which I really like. I was so scared to try this um, in the beginning but I'm glad that I was able to step out of my comfort zone and try something new for April. As you can see here, I also play around with the washi tapes a lot as the header and here's some more washi tapes and I think they blended really well with the overall theme. So I think this might be one of my favorite themes for this year. And these pages are for my packing list when I go back to campus in May. So let's just keep these and then I have my timetable for the new semester and also uh, an assignment track. So now the next one is May and this is a um, hanging potted plant and rabbit theme which was inspired by Blossom Dojo and I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, I really play around with like using a thicker um, fine liner for the outline and I think it looks really nice as it looks very cartoonish which um, is something I uh, really like to try out so yeah the color palette was also really pleasant for the eyes and overall I also really enjoy this one's theme as well and now the last month for this notebook is June and this setup is a Light Academia theme which, which was inspired by Notebook Therapy's Light Academia collection. So for this month, I decided to have like a more scrapbook style. So I play around with like craft paper and also drew out some Light Academia doodles and then just cut them and paste them onto the craft paper. So overall, it was really fun like ripping the book pages over here were like really therapeutic for me and overall it's just very nice it's just very tedious to like um, cut these individual craft papers for each of the month but yeah it was really nice to try another style in my bullet journal so that's the end and these are some very messy pages that I have at the end of my notebook so <laughs> so now let's continue the flip through in the second notebook of 2022. So the beginning pages are more or less the same with the previous notebook. I just like oh I added washi tapes here with the butterflies and also I added in some new spreads which is the goals to check in spread to keep track of which goals that I've set earlier in the year, uh, whether I achieved it or is it still in progress. And then this one is the same as the previous one. And here's my 2022 highlights page. 
but I haven't really pasted in any Polaroid pictures yet because I ran out of film. I need to get them really soon, so maybe I'll just um, paste the Polaroid pictures towards the end of the year. And now, the first theme in this notebook is July, which is a sunflower theme that was inspired by Amanda Rachley's um, sunflower bullet journal setup. So, it's my first time making a yellow theme and I really like how it turned out. The yellow shade was really neutral and very pleasant to look at and overall I just really enjoyed this theme as well. well. I like the headers, the sunflower headers and the washi tapes for the headers also looks really nice. It's a bit tedious to like draw these sunflowers, but overall I really like how they turn out in the end, so that's okay. And over here you can see like there's pages glued up, um, and those are my August um, setup. And I didn't really like how my August setup turned out, as I was like having a creative art block during that time, I couldn't really create something that I genuinely liked myself and I was really scared to like to share them with you guys and because I thought you guys wouldn't like it because I myself don't like the setup as well so I was having um, a very bad creative art block during that time so I took a rest in August and a lot of you guys were really nice and like you were encouraging me, motivating me, that is okay to take a rest sometimes. So I'm really grateful for that. And once I've taken my rest, I came back with a um, mooncake or mid-autumn festival theme for September. And this theme was actually inspired by Koto's journal. I really like the color palette over here and I really like how the theme is related to my culture, once again, like the Chinese New Year theme that I did in February. So overall, I didn't do too many complicated designs for this one. Uh, I keep it quite minimal because I just finished having my break and I just don't want to stress myself. And I think this um, theme overall turned out really nice for me. And now we're off to October and I'm not gonna lie, this theme might be my favorite um, in 2022. Um, it's the Wales and Clouds theme that is inspired by Notebook Therapy Suki Cloud Dreamland Collection. And okay, this mood tracker and habit tracker over here are going to be my favorite for this year. I really like the hanging stars um, for each of the mood and also how I made um, each cloud into each individual habit trackers. I really love these two trackers. And then here are just the weeklies and I also play a lot with the collection. So I guess that is all for October. And this is a semester log because I start my new semester in October. So I made a semester log, timetable, um, some class info, and assignment checker for each subject that I'm taking. And this is a project plan because I am doing my final year project. So I really need this to like plan out what I need to do for each week of the semester. And now, moving on to the next one is the second last month of the year, which is November. And I have this um, very cute and cozy cottage core theme that was inspired by Notebook Therapy's Asuki Cottage Friends Collection. I really like playing around with this kind of header. It looks really nice with the washi tapes and the washi tape stamp. And oh, this little brain thumb is like quite nice as well. I also included like a dried flower over here. Oops, I'm gonna put that back in. And then here are just my weekly spreads. So 
um, initially I made lines, alternating lines for each day but in the end I thought it looks kind of messy so I replaced them with craft paper and also did it for all the other weeklies as well. And now we're off to the last month of 2022, which is December. So since it's the Christmas season, I decided to make a snow globe theme, which was inspired by Amanda Rachley. She did pine trees, but since I really like the Dreams of Snow collection that has a lot of penguins, I decided to change it and draw a penguin with like a cute Christmas hat um, on top. So most of the pages are not filled in yet because the time I'm filming this flip through is um, at the end of November. So I'm so sorry that you can't see like the pages after the pen. But I really like this mood tracker a lot because it fits the theme a lot and this habit tracker is also really nice. And then we have our weeklies. I have like the snow globes for each of the day. And yeah, I think that's it for my December setup. And here is just another messy page I have at the back of my bullet journal. So this is the draft for the royal theme in October and this was initially how the penguin is going to look but I thought it was kind of creepy looking so I changed to something like this and then there's also lots of like stamps and like color palette I want to swatch out what color looks nice so oh, this page is so so messy <laughs> so yeah I guess that is all for the second notebook over here and it has been another amazing year and I'm so glad that I got to step out of my comfort zone and try lots of different styles in my bullet journal. It was so fun creating all these monthly setups and sharing them with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do. So thank you for watching this flip through video and I'll see you guys in the next video.